Why should you play the bassoon? I'm going to show you all the ways that the bassoon is a unique and interesting and fun instrument and what you need to think about if you want to get started playing it. The bassoon has a really cool sound. To me, it sounds really dark and warm, and it sounds kind of like a mix between a cello and a baritone voice. The bassoon has a particularly wide range, which means that it can play really low notes like this, and it can also play really high notes like this. And here's what it sounds like if you play every single note in between those two. The bassoon has a similar range to other instruments in ensembles, such as trombones, bass clarinets, berry saxes, that type of thing. But the bassoon always has a unique sound and has a unique role to play in music. While the bassoon can play in a variety of different styles, there are a couple types of characteristics that the bassoon is particularly known for. Next time you watch a movie, if there is a mischievous part or a quirky or a goofy character, usually you'll hear a bassoon playing. You might recognize this piece that is often played by bassoonists. Sometimes bassoonists are given solos in ensembles. Take, for example, this next recording where the bassoon is playing this kind of eerie lullaby above all of the other instruments. As a bassoonist, your role in ensembles is often to play a supporting or an accompaniment role. And don't be fooled in thinking that this job is less important because the melody in any piece would not be the same without a really great harmony and accompaniment background. Just check out this example where the bassoon is playing this really intricate background part to this flute melody. favorite parts about playing bassoon is that it's so unique and there aren't really that many bassoonists out there especially compared to the amount of saxophonists flutists that sort of thing and so when I'm playing bassoon I'm usually the only person or there's only one or two other people If you're planning to play the bassoon and you're switching from another instrument, check out my playlist in the card above where I have videos demonstrating how to switch the bassoon from different instruments and kind of what you need just to get started playing bassoon. It takes a lot of practice, a lot of patience, and a lot of commitment on your part to be able to learn to play bassoon. If you don't have access to a real bassoon teacher, I've got you covered because you can subscribe to this channel where I upload weekly videos about bassoon tips and tricks to help you play bassoon you can join the online academy at my website buildingabassoonist.com where you can actually study with me if you start playing in the bassoon.